out with everyone. Hey, Madeline. It is cold for Georgia. Not as cold as lots of places, but it's cold for Georgia. So I will show you the fabrics we're using for the tutorial. So this will be my outside. I have no idea where I got this fabric. I've had it for a very long time, but it's pretty. So we're gonna do this on the outside. This will be the inside, just a pretty pink. Um, which is weird, because I'm not a pink person. Um, we're gonna do a, like an elephant gray vinyl, super cute. Um, and, this pink zipper with the iridescent coil I got from Lauren. <sighs> Hi, Christina. Okay, so first thing I want to show you guys. I have never, ever in my life written a pattern. So, I put together a file, which I'm going to post after the live, um, of, like, the steps for the modifications that I'm making so you don't have to take notes. Hi, Linda. Um, but it's like two and a half pages typed up. Um, and I do reference you back to the regular pattern for some of it. Because I don't want to just hand out parts of the pattern that I didn't change. Um, like it says, from the original pattern, you'll cut these pieces. I know it's one of my favorites. Um, from the original pattern, you'll cut these, these pieces, and these are the new ones that you need to cut. And then if there's any step that's in the original pattern that I didn't alter, which there aren't many, to be honest, um, then you'll, um, reference the original pattern for those steps, and I point you to that. I hope that makes sense. Um, so, I'm gonna scoot this just a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing over here. really need to get a better apparatus for this. Okay. So there we go. I hope I did that smoothly enough so nobody gets nauseous. Okay, so we're going to start with the um, card slots. Um, pretty much any of the ones that first are my favorites. All right. So this is what I cut for card slots. It is 8 inches by 15. Um, ow, 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 I just hit my knee on the bottom of my table. Alright, um, and I'm going to have to reference this for parts of it. Okay, so for your card slots, if you are doing a... Um, directional fabric like the one I did where did you go? so this is the one that I posted the other day so if you're using a directional fabric for your card slots um, the 8 inch side hi Tanya be safe um, hi Sherry um, the 8 inch side is going to be top and bottom so keep that in mind when you're doing your card slots I don't have that issue today but if it's directional like these bows are eight inches is top and bottom. And then the marks that you make go from bottom to top. So another thing to keep in mind. Also made a note of that in pattern. Um, or in my modifications, I guess, not really pattern. Okay, so you're gonna make your marks at starting at two and a half and then al alternate between 1.75 and 2.25 um, and you'll do that one two three okay. it's 2.5 then 1.75 2.25 you'll have all the directions um, and yes I'm a rebel and use real pen um, be 
because I had an instance where I was ironing these and my um, lines went away because I had used friction. Also, let me know if you can hear my music because if you can, I will have to turn it off because my TV is at a one. Hi, Camille. Okay. I listen to what my one of my mother in laws calls, calls angry music. Perfect. I also don't want to get booted off of Facebook for you being able to hear music. Um, <laughs> I don't want them coming after me because they can hear copyrighted music. Um, so 2.5, 1.75, 2.25, 1.75, 2.25, 1 1.75, and then whatever's left at the bottom. Um, then starting from the bottom, right sides together. and then just accordion fold from there. Started folding from the wrong end. And then when I get off my live tonight, I have to sew the one for my swap partner because I finally got all my fabrics in that I ordered. Um, Tanya, this is eight by f 18 inches by 15 inches. I'm going to have a, um, a file that I put together. Um, it's a little document that I wrote up for all the steps and everything. Yay for power! A friend of mine had to send her son with her to her mother's who had electricity because they couldn't keep him warm. And I was like, so sad. So yeah, I, I did put together, um, happy that you're here too, Melanie. Um, yeah, so I put it together. I just didn't get it, everything finalized until like right before, um, I had to put my kids to bed. So, when you're done folding, it should look like this, and I did that all with my hand. Um, that's why I like 809 for my card slots, um, because I can, I can do finger presses and it hold at least long enough for me to top stitch it. Um, just a little tip. Lots of people use 809. But, um, so we have fresh needle, fresh bobbin. And top stitch along the tops of all your folds like you normally would.
trim everything. I don't know what is up with this mode of fabric, but it is very, very, very like shreddy on the edges. I love grunge, but this color is just not the best. Now I just have to remember how to fold it back. What's happening here? Oh my word. That was way more complicated than it needed to be. Alright. So then, you are going to... It's funny because I can watch the struggle bus on my computer. Um, you're going to measure in... Oh, thank goodness I was paying attention. Um, you're going to measure in four inches from one of your um, now shorter edges with all your folds. You're going to measure four inches in. That should be your center. You can also just find the center. That works too. Um, again, with my wonderful Boheme pencil. And then just mark a line and then you're going to stitch down that line if you've ever made the NCW it's a lot like those bracelets except you're only doing it once Myself. Okay. And then you're going to baste your edges together. Uh, you don't really have to. I just like to hold everything still. Um, I think the pattern falls for a quarter inch on this, but I do an eighth. Now the next part is pretty much the same as the pattern. So this is one of those steps. When you see my file, you'll see I just reference you back. Um, so your card slot lining bottom, one of these I know you don't interface by the pattern, but with this monster, I interface everything. Um, so you're gonna line that up along the bottom half inch seam allowance. And then top stitch along that folded edge. And yes, I'm being a total rebel, rebel in that I mean anything. <laughs> okay. And then repeat for the card slot lining top. Yeah, so your card slots will be this way instead of running where your cards are like facing out. 
it makes me nervous to have my cards that way. I mean, the card slots are tight, and I don't actually think they would fall out, but there's always that chance, and it makes me nervous. seam allowance and like I said this part is just like in the pattern okay. flip that back yeah that was like my whole thing I'm like are my, are my cards gonna fall out <laughs> that's happening. All right, make sure that that, um, that seam gets folded up towards your card slot lining back so that you have that pretty lip when you flip it. Okay, I'm going to some thirds. are going to stitch, top stitch, along the fold at the top of your card slots. Yes, and I'm, I also used the, um, that other little hack that I did for not having those raw edges. Now, for now, they still exist. This still stays this way. But by the time I'm finished, you won't have those raw edges inside like you do with the, um, the pattern as written. Because um, I didn't like those at all. Um, and my way is a little bit more um, domestic friendly than another way that I've seen. Nothing wrong with that way, but this way is a little more domestic friendly. All right, so this is now card slots. Um, and so they slide in this way instead of this way. Okay. So next thing is the... Um, where did my vinyl pieces go? I have lost my vinyl. Oh, please. I just had it. Hi, Victoria. I'm very confused. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I would have been looking for all that other stuff, too. This is what happens when I'm not organized. Okay. All right, now we're going to do the um, ID slots. No, you wouldn't. You could put it on either side, whichever ever side. Like, if you've got a left-handed person and they want to carry it in their right, you've got a right-handed person who wants to carry it in their left, you don't have to make that decision. You can let whoever's going to carry it make that decision. Um, all right, so you'll have 
um, 2.75 by 4 clear vinyl and whatever your exterior contrast vinyl or cork is going to be. Um, if you're using a cotton for your exterior contrast, if you're using a cotton, I would recommend finding just something small, a small scrap of vinyl or cork to use for this part because there will be raw edges um, left visible. Alright, so you're going to take this and you're going to measure half inch and mark a line half an inch in from all your edges. So you should have something that looks like that on the inside. All right. My new scissors that just came in the mail today. If I don't break them. Um, so then you're going to cut that center square out and you'll end up with a frame that measures 2.75 by 4 but is half an inch wide. Hi, Karina. Hey, Brittany. So, for you that were not here, these are the new card slots. Um, I'm going to be honest. I think it's 12. But I bought it so long ago. And it, the the tissue that's with it isn't marked. I think it's 12 though. I think. Because when I went to go buy more, I felt them. Yeah, I think that's what um, Madeline did. <laughs> I'm not allowed to drink wine. I'm having my wine, which is coffee. Alright. Okay. So, here's your now, your new frame. And then you're going to take your clear and just lay it, thankfully clear vinyl doesn't have sides, um, so just lay it behind and clip it in place. I just put one on each corner, that's all you really need to hold it. Um, and then you're going to stitch around the inside box only. Oh yeah, save your water. Although, I would probably run out of water really fast because I need coffee.
my coffee intake is so high that my o OB, when I was pregnant with my youngest, told me, no, no, don't cut out coffee. You can have three cups. Because if I had cut any lower than that, it would have caused her stress because of how much I drank normally. Okay, so now it should look like that. And then you just want to stitch across the top only because when you stitch it to the zipper pocket, you're going to stitch the other three sides to hold it in place. So I just top stitched that top edge. And that's one of the four inch sides, just in case. Um, and actually what I do is like one to two stitches on the short sides. Yeah, it's the caffeine in the leg. She's like, no, if you if you cut it out altogether, she's gonna go into stress. Let's not do that, okay? And I don't top stitch or back stitch for this part because you're gonna be going over it again. And now, hi, Danette. Yes, I am going to have instructions. I am going to um, put a file up, um, but I didn't get it like finalized. There are no pictures, so if you want pictures, I'll have to get them for you. But um, I'm hoping having this video in the group and then my written instructions will be helpful for those who need the visual. Um, but yeah, they'll be up when I'm done here. I didn't get them finished until right before. Okay. Made my clear vinyl just a little bit too big. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside for now because I like to do the rest of the zipper pocket before I put that on. Um, so that piece. And. All right. You're going to cut a zipper exactly six inches. You can use a number three or a number five. I use number five for everything. Um, so I'm going to use my number five. So my seam allowances are going to be three eighths. But if you're using a number three zipper, you're going to use um, a quarter inch seam allowance for your zipper. Oh, thank you. Can you can you tell my kids that? Just kidding. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay, and then you're going to have uh, zipper pulls or not zipper pulls, zipper tabs. I need to put my zipper pull on this before I put these tabs on. I almost forgot. Um. Alright, so you're going to have zipper tabs because mine is a number five. Again, y'all, I'm blushing. Um, because, again, mine is a number five. Mine are 1.25 by two. If you're using a number three zipper, it'll be one by two. Um, so two interior, two exterior. And I'm using some of my all-time favorite zipper poles. These are from my handmade space. They're my favorite. I buy them 15 at a time, sometimes more than one set. I have to have them. I love them. I buy nickel, black nickel, and rainbow because that's what I use for just about everything in there. Alright. Alright, now, at this point it doesn't really matter, but your zipper should go left to right when it's in your wallet. 
My other one is backwards, and I didn't realize it until I was done. So you're going to put your exterior zipper tab on top, face down, and then your interior zipper pocket face up on the back side. Half inch seam allowance. trim this in the seam allowance. I saw a pattern that said to trim your seam allowance underneath your zipper tab and I was like, why would you do that? That sounds like a bad idea. Um, Alright, and then top stitch, fold it back away from the zipper. Make sure everything is straight. And top stitch. And like I said, I've never written a pattern before, so once I post that file, if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask me. Alright, repeat on the other side. That is also true. You could also just watch the video again. I know some people don't really like the, the chatty part. I remember hearing Lauren mention that a bunch when she would do live tutorials. <laughs> Alright, flip it back again. Alright, make sure everything is straight. The smart thing to do would be to use an iron, but either I watch Lauren's like live her after the fact lives all the time it sounds like she's in the room with me um, although I rewatched one the other day that I actually participated in and she said my name and I was just like why is she talking to me This looks horrible. It looks awful. Don't mind me pulling this out. Thank you. My handmade space. You cannot beat it. It's like nine dollars for fifteen of them. No, it's eight dollars for fifteen. It's ten dollars if they're if they're the rainbow ones, and I buy them all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's like having someone in the room. No one I know, like, actually, like, in life that I interact with regularly, nobody else sews. Like, I'm it. So it's, it's nice to have someone in the room who's, like, speaking their language. 
you're going to love her stuff. She's great. Um, and she's a sweetheart. I messaged her because some of the colors were out on the stars for a while. And I was like, hey, do you know when they're coming back? And she's like, oh, yeah, just a, just a couple weeks. I'll let you know. And I was like, sweet. And then she messaged me back and she said, hey, they're back in stock. And I was like, yes. Give me all the colors. Yeah, nobody sews. I am self-taught and nobody sews. So. Let's try that one more time and hold on to the threads this time. Okay. Much better. Okay. Now. Like, not even a lot of the people that I interact with like online, except for in my sewing groups. So, all right, so you're going to take your zipper and lay it face down on top of one of the exteriors. Now, you can baste it or you can sandwich. Yes. I've also had people tell me, yeah, yeah, I've also had people, they're like, oh yeah, could you make me, and then I'm like, yeah, sure, I can do that, it'll be this much, and they're like, seriously? Really? I think I only paid like $3 for 90 pulls, and this zipper tape, which was way pretty, is way prettier in person than it was on the screen. <sighs> yes. My daughter today, she's like, so I don't know, she sits, I don't know if I want to be a singer or a gamer or a YouTuber. And I was like, why not a singing gamer who does YouTube? And she's like, I can do that. I was like, honey, you can do whatever you want. But yeah, I'm usually bouncing between watching um, Lauren, Jess from Oakla Roots, um, and I don't know, whoever pops up when I'm not paying attention. <laughs> when I stop paying attention. Linda, did you order through her website or through Etsy? Yeah, that's what I was just asking. Um, I think her um, weights may be told different on her website. Me? Yeah, I've never paid close to that. Yeah, see, I order through Etsy, and I think it might be cheaper that way. I always order through Etsy. Me? Really? N only if they offer it. It only has free shipping. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. I do the $35 and get free shipping. That's what it is. You're right, Brittany. Oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah, if you can get your order up to $35, you don't pay shipping on Etsy. That's what it was. I never pay that much for shipping. I always order 35 at least $35. And her zipper tape is very, very, very comparable to Lauren's. So if you really like Lauren's, you'll like hers too.
Now I will say I ordered the um, the handmade ones from um, my handmade space, and those were super chunky. Oh, I, I hate it when I have to do that. I always cry when Lauren doesn't have something I need. <laughs> I'm like no. And as much as I love making the moon wake, I hate having to order my my buckles from Canada. They're the only, Emmeline has the only ones that I like the look of. <sighs> yes, I, I really, really like her zipper. Um, this is one of hers, and like I said, um, like, it, it feels, this is Lauren's, and this is from My Handmade Space. So, yeah, very, very similar. Christina, I love the Moonwake. It's so pretty. I made one. Um, it's black vinyl on the outside, and then I put tulip pink on the inside from her line work. All right, now we're going to top stitch along that. You're going to fold your pieces back. I got chatty. Um, so you're going to fold those two panels back away from the zipper and top stitch. And you need to make sure that zipper stays out of the way because it's long. Twist locks scare me. I have some flip locks that I got um, somewhere. I don't even remember where I got them from. Nice. Um, yeah, I don't remember where I got them. But um, I have some flip locks and I don't know. Maybe if I had a board like Madeline's with the hole in it to help me iron. Alright, and then you're going to repeat for the other two. If you want, I can show you mine. My mimic. It's pretty. I did nickel hardware because they didn't have rainbow. I cannot find rainbow buckles anywhere. So if anyone has somewhere that has those buckles for the mimic in rainbow, please let me know. The only place that I actually find, found them was um, uh, Alibaba, and I was like, I can't wait for them to come from China. Indo Creations. Is that the one that's in Alaska? Indo Love Creations? I know there's one in, Canada, in Alaska that has those buckles that I looked at. Alright, fold back again.
Today my children decided to be boobs about their schoolwork. Okay, so, like I said, you want your zipper to go left to right. So, this will be my front, this will be my where my ID goes. So, you're going to flip everything away from that panel. So, it'll just be that one exterior zipper panel. And then you're going to take your ID slot, making sure you have your already top stitch which at the top. Measure down 5 eighths from that fold. So not the stitching, but the actual fold. 5 eighths down from that actual fold. Because this is tight quarters, if you measure it wrong, it might. Yes. Lauren is so much easier to get from. Five eighths. And centered. Which I am eyeballing again. Okay. Fireweed stitches. See, I, I love the way the ones at MLN look. But she just only has them in, I think, nickel on metal and the antique gold. <laughs> Hi Summer. Yes, I'm going to save it later and there will be a file available later um, that will have written instructions with all the measurements of everything I changed. Alright, now you're going to stitch down your ID card slot. Yes. And that might have to do with the fact that she's in Canada as well. Oh, the one, and the one, yeah, I paid $8 a set, I think, for the ones from Emmeline. I like the shape of them, though. Yeah, the shipping is crazy. Because it's coming from Alaska. And the shipping from Canada is ridiculous, but that's Canada. It's just like trying to ship to Canada. Indo has nickel and gunmetal. Yeah. Okay, now. For me, I do um, long tails, beginning and end, and pull them to the back and knot them for um, stitching this down. I mean, I shouldn't bulk too much about shipping. I um, pre-ordered a book from the UK, and I think I paid more than ship more in shipping than the book. to singe.
just to make sure it holds. All right. That thing smells. All right. So now you should have something that looks like that. And that'll be your ID slot. Now you're going to take your two interiors and match them up for right sides together. And you are just going to sew, match up those bottom edges, and you're just going to sew along those bottom edges. Quarter inch seam allowance. And then match up the bottom edges of the exteriors and stitch those together with a quarter inch seam allowance. Not the sides, just the bottoms. You've seen my wall, right? And I have about, I have a list of about $300 worth of the new Tula Pink line that I'm going to order. Is that bad? Should I not do that? Um, oh, time for my partner to wake up. He has a watch tonight, so he has to go work at 11.30 and doesn't get home until 7, but work this morning. So. I am going to have to iron this because this gets all wrinkly. Alright, <clears throat> so then you should have and now it's a top zipper instead of that hole. Which, the hole is fine. I just think this is easier. It's a lot less fussy. Um, and I do zipper pockets all the time like that, but I don't know, on a wallet? Is it worth the extra effort? All right, I gotta turn my iron off. Avoid the vinyl. I'm going to sew it or iron it from this side so that I don't hit the vinyl and melt it. Have some like that. Um, I can't. I, I can't. It's so pink. Um, and that I think that piece I could probably, if I really wanted to, I could probably sell that tiny piece for about thirty dollars. That crap is expensive. Um, Yes. 
hate to break your heart, but this is expensive. This is called Octo Garden. Um, this is, I don't remember which colorway this is. It's the blue one. Um, there's a coral one that someone sold the other day for a hundred dollars a fat quarter. Just know. I love Tula, but not that much. Now, you can base the edges if you want to. I'm not going to because I'm going to base them down when I put it onto the interior. Okay. Hey, Carrie. Um, okay. So now you're going to do your two exterior pieces. Yeah. It's ridiculous, some of that stuff. Yeah. Someone is gifting me a... Um, cameo from De La Luna, which is like her, it's like a Halloween-ish line that she did uh, a couple years ago. I wanted one of the cameos and it was going for like $45 for one. I mean, if you can get it when it's like new, <laughs> like when it comes out or get one of her current lines when they come out. It's really not horrible, but it's when you find something older that you like and you're like, I can't afford that. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, I have some other stuff that I haven't brought myself to use that's expensive now, and I'm just like... I bought it to use it. I paid retail for it. I didn't pay buy, sell, trade <laughs> prices or eBay prices. I paid regular price for it. I should totally use it. Yeah. Um, I actually went to my local quilt shop and um, there was a fabric I was looking for and on the buy, sell, trade it was like twelve fifty a fat quarter. A fat quarter. So I went to my local quilt shop and they had some at retail still. And it's one of the older ones. Yeah, is that the Venus one? I think it's Venus. It's De La Luna Venus. I'm trying to find some of that, but that stuff is oh my gosh, so expensive. It's a death's head moth. Yeah, the death's head moth. If you've ever seen the cover... Oh, yes! If you've ever seen the cover of, um... Silence of the Lambs, that's what it is. Okay. So, I'll just like the pattern. Half inch seam allowance. That one is actually the most expensive. The gray background is actually the most expensive one. Because it went with all of them. Better. Like, I think it was meant to be in the, the um, colorway with the teal. Um, but it goes with all of them. Better than the rest do. What is happening? Yeah. I love me some too little bit.
So this is that one that I found. It's so pretty. <sighs> so pretty. And this is from her um, spirit animal line. I hope you haven't found Elizabeth yet. <laughs> Everyone wants Elizabeth. Yeah, that's called it's called Retweet from Spirit Animal. I found it at my local quilt shop for retail. So twelve ninety nine a yard instead of twelve fifty a fat order. Don't do it. Forget I said anything, Colleen. Just forget I said anything. Someone auctioned off three yards of Elizabeth on eBay and got, I think, $2,900 for it. Somebody um, put a screenshot of it in the Tulip Pink Buy Sell Trade, and then the person who sold it on eBay commented and said, yeah, and I've already got my money. I mean, she put it up as an auction. She didn't put it up for sale for that price. She put it up for an auction, and it got to that price. Um, yeah, that's, that's about standard for most of, like, um, Moda, Free Spirit, um, which is Free Spirit is who does Tula stuff. Um, some of the other um, ones might be a little cheaper. Um, Timeless Treasures, I think, might not be as much. Yeah. People joke on the buy sell trade all the time that they have a fabric, fabric profile. And I'm just like. All right, now we're top stitching. This part is in the regular the original pattern so I think the only one that might be a little more than twelve ninety nine is art gallery. But if you've ever felt art, art gallery fabric, you'll know why. It's a little bit better quality. Yeah. Tula is a whole other creature in fabrics. I'm going to try something different this time. Every time I've tried to put my tag here, it never works out right. So now I'm going to try and put it above the vinyl, vinyl on the back. And see how that works out. She doesn't. I mean, she did, a couple years ago, she did a line called All Stars, um, where she brought back some of them. Um, but... It wasn't all of them and you know it was again it was just a limited thing and then it was gone again and so like some of those prints are now ridiculous Yeah, they were. They were different colorways. So it was like the same print in different colors. I 
I think I have a, I think I have one thing from All Stars up there. I actually discovered Tula Pink because of Tula Baby Carriers. Um, they did one with the raccoons from Akasha, and um, you couldn't find that fabric. It was like eighty-five dollars a fat quarter, even though it was like brand. It was almost brand new print because everybody was trying to find it to make accessories for their baby carriers. All right, and again, I'm gonna this off in the back. Yeah. Thanks, Madeline. I don't do this most of the time with the knots because it's like extra work, especially on top stitching, like the final top stitching on the bag. I think it's extra work, but um, in these instances where I can easily get to it and hide it. I just realized my music stopped. <laughs> okay. Come on, cooperate. You know you want to. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So this is what our exterior is looking like now. I think I actually like that right there. Okay, now we need to do our snap. I need to remind myself where that goes. You know, someone can make a fortune if they sold just these washers. I have a whole thing of purse feet up there that I can't use because they don't have washers. And they pu they've pulled out on me before. Did you bump? Yeah. You're fired. Seriously, a fortune. Yeah, the ones on Amazon, oh, but they're coming from China. How are they? I mean, are they good washers? You know, I didn't cut those holes. I 
know I saw it said it was coming from China. I'm like, nah, I don't want to do it. I may have to break down and buy them then. That's for you. Oh look, this one didn't get punched all the way. Just to keep them from rubbing, I'm going to put a little piece of my woven interfacing over the back of my snap. So now it won't rub. Alright, now inside. Other side. Now, we have to put everything together. Okay, so I think in the original pattern, I made another small change to this part.
so card slots, raw edges, line up at the bottom still. And then just baste together. I do, I baste at an eighth. Now, you're going to take the zipper pocket, zipper pull to the left, make sure your ID card slot is to the out, or is facing out. I have not made the Winslet. <laughs> um, I have not made the Winslet. Um, my absolute favorite wallet is the NCW. I think the next wallet I'm going to try is the Mia by Bagstock. Okay, so now um, I'm going to measure up half an inch from the top edge of the card slots, and I will show you as soon as I get this clipped in place. Um, I love the NCW. It comes together quickly just like this one does. Um, it is my favorite wallet to make. Um, so, yeah. You should try it. It's a lot of fun to put together. Alright, now we're going to base down the short sides along the top side, top stitch, and then back up the other side. Just like the pattern tells you to you originally. All of the bag stock patterns are written very well. Like, I like the Davina. That's a fun one to make, too. Um, Alright, so this is what your inside should look like now. So you still got the slip pocket here and the slip pocket here. With your zipper now on the top. I like to keep it in the middle so it doesn't get in my way for the next part. Alright. Now. This is that other change that I made um, in my first, my very first live. Um, thank you. 
actually just bought the new bag sock pattern this morning, the Celine. I'm going to print that one out and sew it up. It looks really cute. So now, oh, it looks so cute. All right, so now, like I did on my first slide, that first little hack that I, I did, you're gonna measure in one inch from this edge uh, along your curved edge. And make a little mark on both sides. I just do it so I don't forget. All right. Yeah, I woke up this morning and it was in my inbox. There's like a new pattern from Bagstock. And I'm like, okay, take my money. I don't have 50 other patterns I've never made before. Okay, so now you're going to stitch from this one inch line down across the bottom, back up the top to the other one inch mark. Now, with the card slots this way, um... I did find, so this one, I'm just going to show you. So this one I sewed at the half inch seam allowance that's in the pattern. And I noticed that when my cards are in, I'm getting a little bit of a bow right here. It's not horrible. And when it's closed, you can't tell. Um, so, I mean, you can still sew it at a half an inch. Um, but you can also do it at 3 8 um, which is what I'm going to try for this one and see the difference. So this will be a live experiment. I'm sewing it at 3 8 instead of half. Good. Do it. Madeline, you can do it. Do it, do it. I'm sewing mine up tonight because when I was cutting this one out, I cut that one out too. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Just do it. You know what? That's not fun. Okay. Sound like a Nike commercial. Just do it. Now, if you're doing this on a domestic, I am going to say, take it slow over those zipper taps. It's not too horrible, but just take it slow because it is a, a bit of a bump. If you have a hump jumper, it might help. Okay. All right. It's birthday time. Well, the first time I printed the pattern, I uh, printed it and it, I don't know, something about the, the print settings for my printer, it was not lining up. So I had to 
do something different. So then you're still going to trim it down to about a quarter of an inch. And then also because you have sewn across that squared off bottom, I like to trim the corners so that they poke out a little easier, lay a little nicer. Do not trim where you have not sewn. And I do get a little bit closer to these corners as well. And I think these are the best scissors for that style. My Kai, I love my Kai scissors. Although I need to get them sharpened now because I accidentally hit a staple with them sewing my Rossichon the other day. Oh, <sighs> okay. Oh, forgot to turn my threads. Alright. Turn it on. Hang on. My stitches came out. I'm not entirely sure why. And only on one side. Hold on, I gotta fix it. Come on, done. You're good. Let go of my thing. Thank you. Oh, I know what happened. By the way, word to the wise. The edge in here underneath the slide plate is sharp. I accidentally caught my finger the other day and cut myself.
Yeah. You have to be extra careful because of the extra vinyl about ironing. Um, what I did with the other one is I ironed the card slots from this side. I ironed the actual zipper pocket inside the zipper pocket. My big old iron did not like that. Um, and then I ironed this side for the rest of it. Now we just got to close up the top. Alright. You're going to snip that curve. To help it lay flat. match up those folded edges. Now we're going to top stitch along that top curve. Oops. My ruler hit the floor.
some snip. Like it there. It's so cute. Okay, and that is the wallet. Now, again, because I did the zipper, the zipper, the card slots this way, you do lose three from what's in the norm, the original pattern. The original pattern, you got nine. Because I did it this way, you only get six. There you go. And like I said, I will have the um, the file up tonight for the rest of it. It's just typed up in Google Docs um, with the directions and the measurements for the new pieces. Other than that, it's just whatever. You guys are welcome. Um, if you have any questions, ask me. Um, if you see any kind of error or anything in that file, also let me know. Um, anything that needs to be clarified, anything like that. It's my first attempt at any kind of sewing pattern, so. You're welcome, Kelly. I am so glad I could help and do stuff. Um, I have fun sewing, so. Sharing that with people is fun. I don't top stitch all the way around. I could because I have the um, 1181. I just, I don't know, I like the simplified this echoes this and for me I think it's all it really needs. Night Colleen. Yes it was. It wasn't even an hour and a half. Oh no it was. It was an hour and 45. Even with all my chattering and losing stuff. Um, yeah these go together really quick but yeah I just like that simple top stitch. I do have a speed reducer. I actually have my machine turned down to 1280 on my motor. So it'll it'll go up to 1280 stitches per minute. Because of it, it's scary otherwise. I could probably turn it down a little bit more, but that would mean bobbins go slower. blame you especially when you first get it when I first got it I did have it turned down to like I think it was nine eight or nine hundred night Madeline um because I was scared of it but I've turned it up a little and now I'm at 1280 and I think that's a comfortable spot to be in if I ever need to go faster than that we've got issues you're very welcome um yeah so let me get um that saved over to a pdf and then um Linda, can I just upload it to the group in the file section? Because I'm not sure. You're welcome, Victoria. Yeah, seriously, I only have um, it turned up for bobbins. Night, Danette. Night, Colleen. Thanks for hanging out with me to sew up, sew this up, and um, I'll see you guys around the group. We'll do. Thanks, Linda. Um, I will get that done here in just a few minutes, and let you know if I have troubles. Night, Christina. Good night, everyone. I will see you guys, see everyone around the group. Um, again, if you have questions, just let me know. Uh, tag me, and I'll be around to answer them eventually, I think. <laughs> um, 
If I don't answer right away, I will get to you though. All right? Good night.